Welcome to the 100 Llama Challenge. Thank you so much to EA Game Changers for the early access to Cottage Living for making this challenge possible. So today we're gonna see just how many llamas we can actually have, uh, which is as many as you want, technically. You just have to place multiple animal sheds, but they're pretty big. And I don't know, you know, one, if 100 is even gonna fit on this lot, two, if we can physically even take care of that many, and three, if it'll just work or not. I don't know, we're gonna find out. That's, that's what we're doing. So here we are in the game. My origin username is jumping around the screen because this is an early access version, so don't worry about that. But we are on the brand new 64 by 64 lot, and I figured we need as much room as possible. So the llamas come in this thing, which, you know, you put it on the lot, you're like, oh yeah, there's quite a lot of room, but you gotta keep in mind, I need a hundred of these because we can only fit one llama in each of these. So first of all, let's start off, let me move that post box, with one. And we're just gonna make sure it works. Purchase an animal. Let's get a beige llama. There you go, you can only fit one. Here's our llama. And we don't need to worry about fences or anything because I'm pretty sure they're just tied to that item and we should probably be fine. I'm gonna name you number one. There you go. So by default, everything should be happy. The llama is fine. We don't have any relationship with them. No worries at all. Now, the first thing I want to test is, so this item is quite big. Obviously, the animal essentially uses all that space in front of it here where the grid is to, that's like their sort of free roam space. And I don't believe they go outside of that. I am curious if I can overlap them with move objects and have them still work. So I'm going to do this. We'll, we'll still keep the areas, you know, like there'll just be a shared area in the middle because this will allow us to effectively probably double the amount of animal sheds we can fit here. So let's have a look. So if I go purchase an animal, a white llama, so they should pop out here. I mean, so far so good. I, I don't know. Uh, let's go over here. So I'm going to clean this llama. I don't know if they're going to like intersect with each other or get in the way. Ah, oh, feed number one. Send number one in. <laughs> These look really weird. All right, number two is here now as well. Number two, great. Uh, so feeding number one, I'm gonna clean number one. See, I don't think it's gonna be physically possible to, to care for a hundred llamas, but you know, we'll start off small, start off small. I am actually, however, going to disable my own need decay because I, I don't, we're not gonna be able to do that. All right, well, let's go ahead and I mean, just pretty much place a bunch of animal sheds. I'm not gonna do them too close. Like maybe like sort of like that kind of spacing. I mean, it's still pretty close. So this one is a little bit over the edge of the lot. That's okay. We actually end up with eight animal sheds there, which is pretty good. So I think if we just line the entire lot, we can probably get a good number, right? You know what? Um, I'm actually gonna delete that one. I'm gonna move. Oh, that's so funny. The llama moves with it. I'm actually gonna move this llama to here. So then they're there. And now we just put them all in a room and duplicate the room, flip it round, put it there. Boom, look at that, beautiful. I think it's in the right spot. Yeah, it is. So you can see the footprint does not overlap those ones. And now we have a bunch more. Now we just duplicate this set, put that set there. Okay, and we do it again and again. And ooh, we're a little tight for space now. Oh, I actually put these two closer, hang on. Which is not a problem. I think we might need to squish these in a bit more. Ah, I can't get the last one in. Okay, well, we'll just have to split it in half. All right, I think I can get another row in. <laughs> it's just a little squishy on this one. But I think now that they're here, I could probably, yeah, slide them out a little bit. So the, the great thing is these can sort of just fit outside of the lot. Uh, you just gotta be careful. If you put them too far out of the lot, you won't be able to pick them up again. Like if, if I do this, uh, there's actually no way I can pick that up anymore. It is still functional, mind you, but just, just so you know, if you if you want to attempt putting animal sheds outside your lot, be careful. All right, let me get rid of all this flooring because we don't need that. All right, how many animal sheds do we have? So there's 80 animal sheds. We're 20 short of 100. Oh my God. We're 20 short. Uh, I do wonder if they can be... Well, hang on, before... Okay, well, before we get... Anyway, let's go with 80. <laughs> I guess let's buy some, some llamas. Let's go. All right, so we now currently have... <laughs> we got 32 llamas hanging out. Oh, look at this one go. Let's go clean white llama. Come on, let's get down there. Oh my gosh, look at him trying to get through all the llamas. <laughs> Why are you ducking and weaving? What are you doing? All right, so we got 32. No, sorry, what are we talking about? 16. <laughs> Clearly that's not 32. Sorry, <laughs> these two rows would be 32. There's 16 llamas right here. We'll clean this one. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna go through and keep buying more llamas. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll see you at the end. All right, so this row should be done. They should all emerge, hopefully. Oh my gosh, 
Yeah, the exact same animation all at the same time. That's so funny. And I did all beige on that side, all the white flowers on that side. Okay, they do spread out. It's just that initial animation is so funny. Oh, the welcome wagon. Uh, don't worry. This is not, uh, this is, we're vegan here, okay? This is not anything untoward, all right? It's purely for science. <laughs> okay, so I should have bought all of the rest. I'm hoping I didn't miss any. But we should now have 80 llamas all walking out at the same time. Let's have a look. Here we go. Okay, interesting. It seems to have staggered them a little bit, even though it was completely paused. There is a little bit of a delay as it tries to get all the animals in. Uh, and I could also only buy beige or white llamas, so all kind of the same. But here they are, you know, looking pretty good. There's Samage. Should we go uh, greet some of these ones? I am not naming all of them though. Hell no, I'm not doing that. Complain about being too cute, sure. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What am I supposed to do with 80 llamas? Oh, I know what to do with 80 llamas. So now what happens if you put them all on the same spot? What if I put them all like this? Will this work? The problem I foresee with this is, well, first of all, not only, you know, all the llamas squished on top of each other is, I won't be able to interact with the actual animal shed though. All right, so let's have a look. There should be a bunch of llamas. So interestingly, you can see how they are all in the kind of same spots. I go over here now. I wonder, okay, they're moving around. Do they, Um, I wonder if they, okay. Oh, no, 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 okay. They seem to have like, certain spots they stand in, but when they move, they seem to move properly. I guess this is probably why you're not supposed to overlap them. <laughs> I guess. Oh dear. Well, I mean, this only leads to further questions of how many can we stack in the same area. All right, so we've got both sides of llamas on here now. Can I like clean the llamas? I don't think I can even interact with these guys. Oh my God, the sound. Wait, wait, hang on. I think I'm actually interacting. There you go. That totally worked. All right, let's shear the llama wool. Let's get some wool. Oh my gosh. Okay, can we stop playing musical llamas? <laughs> okay, I'm like, what is it? They're like in sync. Oh my gosh. They're all eating the exact same patch of ground. Okay, did I, can I clean the llama? Let's see, nope. Can I shear the wool? Uh, are there any, again, this, this, this one's individual. It's gone its own way. I could probably get it, right? No. This one, <laughs> shear, shear, oh no. Wait, this one's alone. This one's alone. I actually might be able to get this one. Cheer the wall. Cheer the... Oh, can I, can I even get in the middle of this? I can. He is... Okay, so the interesting thing is he does actually kind of find his way through that. <laughs> okay, what about if we do... Let's add some more into the mix. Like, go sideways on this. If I put them all here in this spot. Because that should give us a little bit more variety in the, the llama placement. Oh, no, they're slightly in... In that actually over there. I think I need to slide it back this way some more. Yeah, we don't want them like clipping into the buildings. There you go. That works pretty well. Oh, you know what? I got a better idea. Instead of having them all like directly on top of each other, why don't we just like scale? Oh my gosh, wait, hang on. What does that do to the llama if I scale it down? Oh, it's still there. Okay, hang on. This actually, uh oh, I'm wondering if this is gonna work. If I just go like small animal sh shelters, have them all sort of in the same area, then I can make like a little llama village where they kind of all, so I can still actually click on the animal sheds but they'll sort of all wander around separately, you know? I feel like the llamas won't be able to get back into their sheds, but I don't know how this is gonna work. It'll work somehow. Okay, so this one is like a nice little long row of them. This one's a little bit more haphazard, but you know, now the llamas should hopefully be in slightly different positions and I can actually click on every single animal shed. So there's that. <laughs> Great. It kind of looks like a little, oh my gosh. Kind of like having giant llamas. Okay, well, why don't we get the rest of our furry friends over here as well? Because then we could probably actually get, oh, that llama's behind the shed, interesting. Yeah, then we could actually get like a hundred llamas if we uh, just get all of the sheds together like and make them small, make it like a little village. Interesting that some of these are behind their sheds. I don't know how that works, but anyway. All right, I've made a sweet little British village as you can see here. It's just a nice little, <laughs> a little uh, local town. We even have a little town center in here. You know what? Hang on. Give, give, give me a second here. You know what? I can fix this. All right. So we've got nice colored roof. You know, all the houses are now a little bit different. Now we definitely need some sort of... Oh yeah, here we go. Hang on. This is even a... Look at this, like the size of this is like perfect. All right. So we're going to have little roads running through the town. 
<laughs> the town of llamas. But don't worry, I'm, I'm not done, I'm not done. If I get a little bit smaller than that, I can actually paint a different road surface in between the cobblestone. So the cobblestone is like our footpath. And then we have the road. You know how, this is great. Who needs SimCity? We have like a little plaza here in the middle. It's pretty epic. Oh yeah. And then hang on, in the middle should probably, we just paint all that, there you go. There's like a little town town center kind of thing. And then we get the new street light and we can actually put this around the town. How epic is this? <laughs> Wait, I've got an even better idea, hang on. Okay, well street lights, yes, they will go here, obviously, because we obviously need street lights. Okay, so we've got street lights and then maybe some outdoor bins as well. You know, it's good for the public, just have a few trash cans around. Wasn't this supposed to be about llamas? I wonder if this, oh, so I wonder if the fountains work scaled down, they don't. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty good size. We could probably get a fountain there. I mean, it's pretty tall. If you if you go down to scale, it's pretty, it's a pretty big thing. Wait a second, what about this thing? Okay, but the best thing that I wanted to show you and put in, oh, we need these. This isn't what I was gonna say, but we definitely need phone booths. <laughs> This is epic. I have one in the town over there. A couple more down these streets. Yes, this is what we need. We need a bus. <laughs> uh, we can have this bus, can be down. I guess it could be in the, this little town center area. Maybe just here, set a bus stop or something. Nice red bus. And then of course, need a truck somewhere down here, down one of the roads and a mini. How epic is this? Oh, maybe not red, it kind of goes with those. Oh, I wish I could just clone it, It'd be easier. Little one over here. And then also the Jeep. Oh, no, I keep calling it a Jeep. Land Rover. The Land Rover we're gonna have in here too. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a yellow one. And over here. There you go. There's a, you know, there's a few cars. There's a bit of life in this city. <laughs> oh, hold up a second. I could use this in the town center instead of this fountain thing. <laughs> That's actually pretty big. It's the top size of the bus. I can't make it any smaller. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's actually a bus stop. Like it actually is a bus stop. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> There's like street signs. Okay, I think I'm getting a little, okay, that's fine. I'm getting distracted. So we have <laughs> 80 llamas living in the city of L Lamin Lamington. Welcome. Hang on, if we get down to, get down to the scale. Welcome to Lamington. We are overrun by giant llamas. Uh, but if you follow the street signs, you can find your way to the town center. I, I forgot what this video was about. I think it's just me messing with llamas, to be honest, and building a village. <laughs> now, we only have 80 llamas, so I think that is actually a problem. My question is, can I actually do stuff now? Now that they're sort of spread out a little bit, I can only put you in my inventory. I can't actually do anything with you, which is interesting. I think, I don't, did I, have I like glitched them? Can I get in here? Okay, I can't, oh my gosh. Oh, three times speed is rough. So what if I call you over? Hang on, let me call, call you. Oh, some of them are going back in their homes. They're going to bed. Okay, so I've called you over. Okay, now I can do stuff. Clean, maybe? I feel like, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like all this stuff's in the way. Oh my gosh, I need to refill. I can't refill feed because they're too, they're too small. Oh dear. Well, let's get the, let's get the next 20 llamas because we do need those too. Oh my gosh, I have one over here that I haven't used. <laughs> There's one unused llama. Oh, that fixes this little street here perfectly. There we go. That's 80. Okay, this is the next 20 animal shelters that I need. So, <laughs> I guess. So the game begins purchasing more llamas. So I think also the thing is we actually could take care of if we had those 80 llamas, how I had them originally placed, we actually would be able to physically get to them and take care of them. But as soon as I started overlapping them, things kind of went wrong, so... And also when I built the village... <laughs> of llamas. It doesn't work anymore. All right, 20 additional llamas should all be stepping out any second now. Here come the first set. I like how it sort of staggers them. It's like, there's those ones and here's these ones. All right, well, let's add them to the llama village, which is just a simple process of scaling down and placing a house in where it belongs. I guess I'll add another street here. All righty, all 100 llamas are in here now. I think I can sort of explore the town a little bit. Maybe, can, can I actually get in there? Oh, I, I can't, wait, no. He's trying to work it out. <laughs> He's trying to get it, oh no. He needs to go to the toilet. Hang on. I can fix that. Uh, there you go. All right. He is actually kind of finding his way. Surprising. I'm actually genuinely surprised he was actually able to get into here somehow. Oh my this is like a llama hellscape. <laughs> Look at them all. Oh Lord. I, uh, you know, apart from the fact of me not actually caring for these hundred llamas and you know, I, I just, we can't <laughs> with the way I've set it up. This is really cool. I love this little village. 
Oh my gosh. There's, oh, wait, do you see how laggy that is when all that comes off? Hang on. If I bring up like a bunch of animal shelter stuff, how did I get so many up at the same time? I mean, surprisingly, it's all running pretty well considering it is ridiculous. Well, should we add, seeing as we can't actually take care of the llama, should we add some nice scenery to it? Maybe the little town of Lamington is surrounded by some beautiful hills, you know? We'll get some hills at the back, hills in the front, you know? You know, just a few little hillsides, just so you can't really see the outside world when you're down here. I can't actually see all those trees over there. I feel like we need some taller hills uh, at the back. Hmm. It doesn't really work how I wanted it to, but you know. I was trying to keep everything to scale, but I think I might just need something really tall. Problem is if it's all too steep, then uh, you get all the dirt painted on the side, which doesn't look as good, you know? Oh, there we go. That's better. I right, just got to get some trees, you know, around the town. So it looks a little bit more lively and everything sort of to scale. Look at that. Stunning. We could even have it as a seaside village, you know? Did you know we could do this? Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> This actually is so cool. I, the llamas just kind of get in the way now, to be honest. This is more just about building. Oh my gosh. That's, look at all those dialogues that pop up. That's when it gets like really laggy. This is actually super cool. You better believe we're getting a little jetty going out into the water that's kind of collapsed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is actually perfect. Oh wait, this is huge. I, oh, I was hoping it could go smaller. It's not as too big. I mean, the perfect like pier. Yes, there is boats. I was really hoping that there were some boats. In, oh, what is this? It has to play. Oh no, it's because it's so big that when it's this way, it's technically above the water. I guess if it has to, it just has to face this way, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, that is actually still huge though. <laughs> Yeah, this boat is a little big. Is there a smaller boat, potentially, maybe? Oh, damn. Is this really as small as the boats are gonna get? Maybe we just put it in the distance so it looks like it's, you know, wait, that just makes it look bigger. Uh, okay, maybe no boat. We can get like a little, a little shed thing. No, oh, it doesn't really place low enough. Again, because of the terrain, it's really hard to place. Ah, here we go. Get some rocks to block the way. The water, it goes that way somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think when you clicked on this video, you didn't think it would go this way. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think it would end up like this either. But here we are with a tiny town filled with a hundred llamas and my self sim. There he is, hanging out in the middle as well. And then we have a little beach and waterfront, some beautiful cliffs. Look at those trees. Wow, this place must be huge. Look how big those trees are. <laughs> Hang on, there we are. This is the accurate scale. Hang on, if I'm a person height. Whoa, everyone's so big. This town is epic. I, I still think this looks pretty awesome. Can all the llamas, if we go to nighttime, I think all the llamas go to sleep, don't they? If they can even get to their hut. Oh, here we go. Uh, I think they're, oh my gosh. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah, they're, they're all slowly disappearing. All the llamas go to bed. Well, there's a few left, but we can see the town a little bit more clearly now with all the floating zeds everywhere. And okay, there's a lot of stuff in the way, but there you go. That, that is uh, that is a town of 100 llamas. That's what it looks like if you have 100 llamas on your lot. Now, I think it would be interesting to do an actual video on seeing how many we could actually take care of instead of whatever happened here today. <laughs> but if you'd like to see that video of me trying to actually care for as many as possible, which I feel like is going to be really difficult with just one sim, it's going to be pretty difficult to probably get above, I don't know, like 10 maybe? Like that's, it takes a lot of time. It would take a lot of time out of the day to be able to do all that. But let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video for whatever it was. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.